What's up guys, my name is Sean, welcome to my tech channel. If this is the first time you're stopping by, welcome to this channel. In this channel, I review techs, gadgets, do unboxing, reviews, and tutorials. So if you think you like content like this, you might want to hit that subscribe button. And when you hit the bell notification, make sure to change that to all so you won't miss my future videos. If you are returning here, you probably notice I look different. Yes, I typically don't wear these glasses or any glasses at all in any of my videos. I should, but the reason I didn't is my previous classes were a little bit banged up and for different reasons, life, work, COVID, all that stuff, I never got a chance to go back to the doctors to get them rechecked and get new prescriptions to go ahead, uh, get a new pair of glasses with fresh lenses. And this is where the sponsor of this video comes to play. And I don't want this to turn into a commercial for this product. I'm gonna give you my honest opinion and my experience from beginning to the end. Uh, so that way you understand exactly what you're dealing with. Uh, their name is IQ and they are the maker of Vision Check, which we're gonna talk about. The Vision Check, what's the official term for it? It's an at-home refraction error eye test. It helps to test for nearsightedness, farsightedness, and a sigmatism. But in a nutshell, you get to check your eyeglass numbers to see if they have changed or you need to change your glasses or you need glasses at all at home without going to the doctors. Uh, so this is their main product, Vision Check. This is the actual device you use uh, to measure your uh, uh, your eyeglass numbers. Uh, this is one kit you will get. There are more stuff inside. We'll talk about it uh, for 90 bucks or you can get the their, their larger kit, which you get all the stuff in this box, plus another device to help you uh, check for, uh, uh, check for uh, 2020. The IQ Vision Check, you get the main device itself, which uh, you will charge it with a micro USB, some cleaning cloth, you get a strap, because you need to strap and secure this to your phone, and then, you get these frames uh, that would help you measure uh, the distance between your, your, your pupils because that's important to find out exactly where the strength of uh, each lens needs to be. Big boy right here, you get all of the same stuff. By the way, I love the, the carrying case that this thing comes with. So you get all of the same thing. You still get your vision check, you get your strap, you get your white frame for the PD check, and this is the additional device you would get to measure your... Uh... I don't know the medical terms for it, but... And both of the devices, regardless of which one you get, they come with a unique serial number that you have to use to activate the device. But the good news is you can use that as many times as you want. So you can get one and your entire household will use, but each of them need to download the app. What's the point of this device and who is this for? The, the idea is the average cost of eye exam is, is going up. As a matter of fact, it's anywhere between, I think, 100 to 180 bucks if you go to a, a clinic uh, to try to get that exam. This is a more affordable way uh, for you and your entire family continue to keep track of your your eyeglass numbers to try to see if there is any improvements or lack thereof that you need to take uh, maybe action on. One thing that is important to know that this is not an eye exam. Eye exam is performed by a doctor and there are things and diseases that your eyes may have and only a doctor and a doctor only can detect those. Okay, so now we know what this is why you need one, who is this for, and what's inside the box. So here's some nerdy stuff and an overview about how this works. So your cornea, your pupil, and lens, they work together to focus light on the retina. Uh, now, if your eyeball is too long or too short or crooked like mine, because a soccer ball hit it when I was a kid, um, then you end up having blurry vision. IQ Vision Testing Solution incorporates inverse Shack Hartman technology, and yes, that's a thing, and measures your vision through game-like exercises. Also, what's important to know, uh, their products are registered as FDA Class 1 medical devices. Okay, so how do you actually use this thing? Uh, let me just be very clear about one thing. This is not an instruction video. I'm not gonna regurgitate and duplicate 
the videos they have on their own site. Uh, it works with iPhone and Android. You download the app, you register the device using the serial number, and then you pair the device and you start the test. The way it works is you would have to, it would walk you through where you need to align this and put this on, on your phone. So this is how the device works and you test it basically one eye at a time. Uh, the very first time um, you would test and use the device, it would walk you through a practice run, right? And then after that, you have to do three full tests. So you line up these lines nine times for right eye, left eye, and that's one full cycle and you need to do that three times. So once you finish uh, the test three times for each eye, then it gives you an option. Say, hey, do you wanna test again or do you wanna end it? So you can end it and then it will give you your eyeglass numbers, everything you need except your, your PD measurement. So you put on these white frames, it has these markings uh, that once you take a selfie through a guided part of the app, it measures and detects where your basically the center of your eyeballs are, as well as these uh, three points. And then based on that, it will give you a measurement. Then you have everything you, knew, uh, you need to order your glasses. But before you order your actual glasses, it's important to make sure the numbers are correct. Now, keep in mind, these are self-administered. The website claims 90% uh, plus, they claim that their, uh, their vision with these eyeglass numbers when they ordered glasses was uh, same or better. In my experience, initially, I may have been part of that 10%. So you can go to their website to order these uh, try-on glasses. They use everything you got in as a result of all your tests to send you try-on glasses. So I got them, I wore them for a couple of days, and I personally wasn't happy with that. So I reached out to their, um, uh, to their customer service, and they asked me to do to check a couple of things. They sent me a different test to do. And they said, hey, can you take it like one more time? Literally, I took the test one more time and that kind of like corrected whatever it was. I say all that to say this. The moral of the story is two things. Uh, number one, the company stood behind the promise. Uh, that's number one. Number two, I do want to encourage you, listen to the recommendation and actually do the test four times instead of the minimum three times that the app let you do. Uh, so the fourth time I did it, looks like that did the trick and they landed exactly where I want it to be. Once you're happy with your eyeglass or your Tron glasses, then you can go to any of the online sites. I personally use Zenny. They get a really good selection of frames. My frame, I think with all the anti whatever I selected, it came up to like 60 bucks. Technically, you don't need anything in this big bundle to be able to order glasses. But this basically tests if you're seeing 2020 in less than a minute, it also checks for color deficiency or contrast sensitivity. So this was my entire experience and it's time to do a quick recap of the pros and cons and who is this for. Number one, I don't think there is anything like this in the markets. Number two, I think it's very affordable, especially if multiple people get to use it in the household. The other thing I liked was uh, the fact that they kind of like gamified this experience of you needing to align these two lines to be able to get the proper reading. And then the other thing is my personal experience with the customer service was absolutely great. Now, what were some of the things I did not like about this? These things may be small nitpicky stuff, but I still want to share that with you. In your phone, depending on which phone you have, when you put on the strap, it may actually pushes on the power button. So you may have to kind of like play around with the strap to try to get this uh, away from the power button. The other thing is these buttons, they're touch sensitive. Uh, I'm not sure if I would rather have them to be haptic or not, but I know in the middle of testing, sometimes I would forget where my, my fingers were as far as which button does what. I wish there was one app I could use both devices for versus two different apps. And then I think it would be cool if I could create just different profiles on the same app instead of asking everyone to download their uh, own app. I've been rambling for way too long. Hopefully this all made sense. If you got any questions for me, drop a comment down below. I know I read every single one of them and I try to do my best to answer every single one of your questions. Um, if you haven't had a chance to like this video, please do so, it will mean a lot to me. Hopefully you will subscribe and turn on the notifications to come back for more. Uh, thanks IQ for sponsoring this video. Uh, link down in the description below. You guys can read more about what they do and how they do them. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.